This video is sponsored by Sirius Readers, the lighting company. I've been using lamps from the Sirius Lights range for around 18 months now and use them for all of my painting and hobby projects. When building and painting my models, I need good quality light to help me achieve the best painting results and help protect my eyes from strain and damage. With these lights, even the smallest of details can be seen crisp and clear, such as the detail on Bright Star by Eldar Craftworld's Autark. Sirius Lights uses daylight wavelength technology, which replicates the natural daylight spectrum as closely as possible. These lights will project a balanced, natural light beam with the added benefits of low heat, low energy, and a full five-year warranty, including bulb life guarantee. Sirius Lights are a solid build, featuring adjustable head, neck, beam, and dimmer. Sirius Readers is a British company, and the Sirius Lights range is hand-built to order here in the UK. Link in the video description below and in the comments section. And when you use promo code SR426, you'll receive £100 off your HD light plus free shipping. Happy painting and enjoy the video. of Warhammer 40,000, it's 2,000 points here at Eldar versus Necrons. So starting the new season, season 12, for our battle reports. Just a friendly clash here between these two Xenos factions. Mike's going to run the Necrons here in this game, experienced Necrons player, and I'm going to give the Eldar a spin in this game. So, a regular clash on the channel, there is a point to this game. Uh, if you don't know the result of the grand final, then do check it out. Uh, if you don't want to know the result, then don't listen to what I'm about to say. But the Eldar were in the grand final, uh, and they lost against the Black Legion. So it's a chance for the Eldar to uh, continue to refine this list here and to sharpen their teeth a little bit. Uh, and it's certainly going to be uh, a tough one against this Necron uh, army. It's a Necron list, a new list that's come in. I reckon it's pretty strong. It's the Wraith Bomb uh, combination. It's proved very effective in a previous battle, and we'll see how it gets on here. Uh, against this Eldar force. So, big thank you to everyone that supports us on Patreon uh, and on channel membership. You can help support the channel on those two platforms. Uh, links for those in the video description below. So, for this Eldar list, uh, HQ choices, we're running uh, a Wayleaper here. Uh, it's Bright Stars. So, it's basically a lone operative Autark. He's got the Glaive, a Dragon Fusion Gun, and Fate's Messenger uh, enhancement for him. You've got Jane Zar. She'll be bodyguarded by a unit of Banshees, uh, the Exarch taking the Executioner. Uh, then we have one Spirit Seer being taken as well. This one's fresh from the painting desk. It's one of the two Warlocks, but I'm going to use them as a Spirit Seer uh, here for this battle. Then we have two Wraith Lords at the back, a double Bright Lance for them, Shuriken Catapults, and the Glaive, the Blade for them. We've got a Falcon with Pulse Laser, Bright Lance, and Heavy Shuriken Cannon. Two units of Wraiths, Wraith Guard with their Wraith Cannons, uh, and then uh, Wraith Blades with their Shields and Axes. The Avatar of Cain is in the list, and then we've got a highly mobile uh, Biker combination across here. So it's Shroud Runner, squad of three. We then also have a unit of Wind Riders, squad of six, or with Shuriken Cannons. And then finally, it's the Shining Spears, a squad of six of those with their laser lances. Star Lance has been taken for the Exarch, and it's got the Shimmer Shield 
uh, there with him as well. That's the list for the Eldar. We'll see how they get on against the Necrons. So that's the Eldar list. Uh, Altarks and Phoenix Lords, that's the top two levels of support and YouTube channel membership. They've been allocated to their models and units. So just one Altark here for the Eldar. That's Ite Miara. I've actually put him onto the Spirits here, here for this game. He'll go in with one of the Wraith units. And then Phoenix Lords have been allocated here. So Ray Cross has gone onto the Shining Spears for this battle. JP, something sneaky, has gone onto the Shroud Runners. Marfisto is going to go onto the Avatar for this game. The two Wraith Lords at the back, Ben Shaw and Vagabond. Amy Almo onto Jane Zar. Chris Gomiski is going to go onto the Falcon uh, here with its firepower support for this battle. And then finally, Paint Licker's Paint Pot is going to go on Bright Star himself for this game. That's the Elder List. We'll take a look at the Necrons next. So, Necrons here. Mike will gladly run these against the Elder. He hates the Elder, loves the Necrons. That's so going to work out well. He's got some good battlefield experience uh, using the Necrons as well. So, uh, in no particular order, uh, Ramses then, the overlord on foot with the glaive and taking the tachyon arrow uh, for him then we have a hex mark destroyer uh, a cryptic been taken and uh, then a scorpec lord he's going to be bodyguarded by six scorpec destroyers it's meant to be two plasma sites i've got one model but there'll be two of them uh, here in this game a squad of six tomb blades uh, taking the particle beamers shooting option for them 20 necron warriors 10 of Gore's Flayers, 10 of Gore's Reapers, 2 Canoptic Doomstalkers for uh, reliable firepower support and durability, so 2 of them. Uh, and then some extra long range sniping anti tank ability here uh, with the uh, heavy Locust Destroyers. And then finally, what's become iconic for this experimental Necron list uh, it is Raves. So they've made a, a massive comeback here on the channel. Two squads of six of those. There is an enhancement that's been taken as well. It's, uh, this is being run as a Canoptic Court detachment, and we've given Dimensional Sanctum to the Cryptex. So him and his unit, he can join Wraiths, can infiltrate. So it's a great way of getting these uh, further up the board. But that's the list for the Necrons. Phoenix Swords and Autarchs allocated for them. Uh, so we've got Phoenix Swords, Andrew Swan uh, going on to the Cryptex. Longbow BB for long-range firepower support onto the Locust Heavy Destroyers. Uh, the two Canoptic Doomstalkers is going to be Gut B and Michael Fryer. Uh, Nate Miller onto the Gunslinger for this game. BPP Wargaming onto uh, the Overlord. Uh, and then Lucas Brown onto the Scorpec Lord. And then Autarchs. We put them on bodyguard duty here, six of them. So they've gone on to uh, the uh, Scorpec Destroyers. That's Midnight Miniatures, Casper Kemp. Uh, ben Harris, Sam Hermes, Valhalla Field Marshal Robert, and Dylan Moore. So that's Phoenix Laws and Autox allocated. That's the Necron list. We'll take a look at scenario and deployment next. <laughs> All right, so we have a scenario uh, randomly determined here. So it's Hammer and Anvil for deployment. So we're fighting from end to end here in this game. Sites of Power is the primary mission, and Chilling Rain is the mission rule. So no extra effects uh, with the mission rule. Hammer and Anvil, Eldar are deploying uh, here, marked their boundary marked by the orange dice. Then there's No Man's Land across here, the Necron deployment zone uh, across here on the left hand side. There's five objectives on the board. Uh, three in no man's land, one dead center, and then one on each flank, one here, and then one uh, across the other side near the barricade, uh, and then over here, uh, one just on top of the container, that's the home objective for the Eldar, uh, and then a little bit in the open across here, but there's one there for the Necrons in their deployment zone. So for sites of power, the main aim for this one uh, is the control of objectives and the control of no man's land objectives with characters. You've got to get a character onto that no man's land objective, uh, and then uh, turn two onwards at the start of each command phase. It's three points for each objective marker that you control, uh, and then an extra three points for each objective marker that uh, has a character on it and the site has been empowered. So it is capped at 15 points a turn in total, so you're totaling up all the objectives that you control. Uh, so you've got to get a character onto the objective, uh, and then at the end of your command phase, you empower all of the No Man's Land objectives that you control with characters, and then you can then uh, calculate the number of victory points coming through. Three, six, or nine in total. Both sides have characters, plenty of characters, actually. Uh, so it's quite doable uh, for both sides in this game. So you can expect uh, a tussle for the center of the board uh, across 
the board here at, at, across no man's land uh, from one side of the table to the next. So both of us are going to go for the random draw on secondaries and then I just mentioned terrain here. So uh, some key features to point out this structure across here, not this gap. Uh, and then this L shape is going to be obscuring terrain. Uh, so units can hide behind, uh, obscuring terrain for that L shape across there, and then also the warp portal in the middle. Uh, this is not going to be obscuring. I'm going to leave that one just as uh, to open terrain, but it's, it's quite dense. Uh, and so there's, there's some structures across here, which will play as uh, sealed buildings, and you can see some barricades dotted around the board uh, as well. But that's the terrain for this game. Both sides ready to go. We'll start alternating placing units on the board next. Right, just to mention the battle mat and terrain that we're using in this game. So battle mat is from gamemat.au. 6x4 inside, just marked out the edge uh, here with these pipes. And then we're also using pre-painted terrain sets from gamemat.au. So it's the industrial terrain set uh, here, which is these containers, this structure across here. You get four of these in this set. Uh, you get some of those uh, as well. And there's some boxes and barrels in with that set as well. Uh, and then there's a central feature here. It's the warp portal, an individual piece from gamemat.au as well. But you can check them out for battle mats, all shapes and sizes. Uh, and then your pre-painted terrain sets available from them as well. Discount code in the video description for 11%. And if the offer's still running, there is one there for 20% off across the store as well. All right, so deployment's done for both sides. Elder had a few units spare to place right at the end. We've both gone heavy on a flank each. Necron's looking particularly strong over on that flank. Elder looking stronger over on this flank so that the game may swirl around the board uh, here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, infiltrating later on in Mike's deployment, but not the last unit to go down, but onto this objective straight away uh, with the Wraiths. Uh, they're the ones that can infiltrate uh, with the Cryptek. Then uh, hidden with these, ready to pounce with their long-range sniping ability, the Locust Heavy Destroyers. Uh, one Canoptic Doomstalker placed here. It's got a view up this corridor and then also through the terrain over to a ray floor that's over on the Eldar right-hand flank. The other one's on the objective to hold that. And then a massive infantry here in the centre, some Necron Warriors to absorb damage as they push forwards. Uh, they have been joined by the Overlord and then behind them to back them up in close combat. Uh, is the Scorpec Destroyers and Scorpec Lord. Necrons have placed the Hexmark Destroyer in reserve. Uh, and then over on the left-hand side, swing around on this flank. It's another unit of Wraiths. Uh, and then they're going to be supported by the Tomb Blades. Uh, so that's their deployment done. Then for the Eldar in the centre of the board, the Wraith Blades. They've been joined by the Spirits here. And then just behind them uh, is Bright Star himself. Trying to keep the Falcon out of trouble, so we've tucked it here at the back behind the obscuring terrain, along uh, with the Shroud Runners inside the Falcon in its chains are on the benches, and the stronger flank for the Eldar. So uh, placing a good number of these units after we knew uh, where the Necrons have finished deploying. So bikers here right at the back trying to stay out of range. Shining Spears uh, here getting ready to potentially pounce onto this objective. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Wraith Lord, one of the early deployments. Avatar of Cain going here later on, and then the Wraith Guard with their Wraith Cannons. So Eldar looking to swing around this way, Necron's looking to swing around across the other side. That's at least how I think it will go. No Deep Strikers or Reserves for the Eldar at all. Everything they have is on the table. So, deployment's done. First or second in the ideal world, Mike, what do you reckon? Uh, first. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, so here we go. All right, so we'll roll up to see who goes first. Both of us want to go first here, but only one can take the initiative oh. after us. Still oh, one and five, all right. Eldar to go first here, which I think they'll gladly do. Uh, so we're going to try and pounce on this flank here. We're going to have to do it effectively. Uh, if you check out the previous game, I don't want to give too much away, but the last time this Necron list was in action was against the Imperial Fist. It was a cracker of a game. Uh, the first time we experimented with this Necron army. And it was this particular unit here. The Wraiths in general did really, really well. Uh, it's Eldar would be wise to try and uh, deal with this unit if they can. Uh, or it could be a bit of a tar pit for them if you get sucked in here. Uh, and it may take a long time to overrun these. We'll see how it goes. I've tried to load up as much stuff as we can. But Eldar will take the initiative here. They'll take the first turn. Turn one to them, coming up next.
also turn one for the Eldar. Uh, we'll mention the fake dice. I did re-roll, so I rolled 11 dice in the end. Uh, and got a six, two fives, two fours, two threes, a two and two ones. Two command points been taken with the autark on the board, giving me the extra one on my turn. And cards is investigate signals. Usually ignore that one, uh, but it's we're going to go for it here on turn one with smelled our units, and then secure no man's land has been drawn as well uh, with the lure here to go after no man's land objectives early. So movements complete here for the elder. Uh, shroud runners have gone into that corner and the bikers have clustered themselves so you've got to be within nine inches wholly within nine inches of a corner so we've done it in two corners which will be worth four victory points to us at this early stage uh, falcon will come to him in a moment so the eldar pushed forwards nice easy charge but no uh, mike's play the cp gives him a six inch move where he can uh, just move away in any direction so he's pulled the raves back uh, to here very frustrating the had a number of units lined up uh, it is a possible charge across here. It's nine inches to make it across. When the avatar gets his plus ones, it'd be an eight inch charge, but it's certainly not guaranteed. And that's just with one model instead of a lot more models that were lined up. Rafe Guard uh, moved out to provide some firepower support. A couple of models still can see, but not all of them. Shining Spears moved up, didn't advance, just moved to here, just sheltering. Uh, across here then the temptations the rafe lords move around as well the temptation with, with these was to advance to that objective quickly but it's in the face of a lot of firepower a lot of stuff so i've elected to go for preservation instead so we've kept them there and not gone for the central objective uh, with the rafe blades as uh, and then with these moving away and through here we edge the falcon out to its left so it's got line of sight uh, across here but trying to keep an angle away from uh, the Canoptic Doomstalkers with their firepower. And then the last move across the other side, again, trying to preserve uh, strength here. The Wraith Lord uh, outnumbered for sure on that flank. Instead of going for that uh, objective, he's uh, backed off uh, to uh, anchor that flank, try and stay alive for as long as possible. So some caution here with the Eldar. I'll try not to lose numbers early on. Uh, we were going for this charge across here, but Mike's reacted very subtly, very cleverly. Uh, with the Wraith units. It remains elusive for now. That's movement done. We're going to Eldar shooting phase next. So Wraith Guard are going to fire. These three on the edge can see through to those. Range 18. Anything you want to do? No, my hands are. CP gone. Okay. Oh, hold it right there. If I kill one, it's going to stretch his charge. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's an evil laugh. I meant to do the evil laugh. <laughs> Well, there it is. Uh, we'll go. I'm just going to shoot them. As I think if I charge across here, the avatar will be exposed to a heap of stuff. So maybe may might not want to charge at all. So I'll go for shooting instead. So we're looking for fours. And we've got a hit. We'll re-roll a single hit roll. And we've got two hits. We'll try and wound on... Me or toughness six. Strength 14. Two. Twos. I'll re-roll that one for Eldar. Okay, two go through, so you're down to your one save. Yeah, four ups. Four ups to block. And two fives, oh boy. Here we go. Okay, we'll go on to uh, the Avatar of Kane. We'll put his shot through against those, and that will hit. You're not minus one to hit rolls or anything like that? No. no. One wound comes through. Ask Mike to make another invulnerable save. Yep, just double tag him, but no. Passed again. Okay, this can't go on forever. We hope. Uh, we'll go here. Wraith Lord next. Two shots. Sprite Lancers. Just rolling through the firepower. Missed. We roll one dice. Missed entirely. Uh, Shrewd and Catapults from him. Missed entirely. And that's him done. And okay. Eldar firepower beginning to run out here at this stage. We'll go Wraith Lord across the other side. Range 36. We'll put two Bright Lance shots into those Wraiths. Need fours. We roll single dice. One hit comes through. So it's going to be a quick shooting phase. Foul to wound. Reroll. And maybe strength 12. Toughness 6. Yeah, it does wound. So one invulnerable save. Failed. Huzzah. And probably going to kill it. A 4. Plus 2. 6 wounds. Yeah. yeah. All right. So one model slain. Which Mike doesn't care. Just bring it back. Yeah. Next turn. All right. No problem. Kind of weird, but destroying one of Mike's models is actually 
beneficial for him, yeah. dare I say it, because the model will come back and he'll deploy it closer towards the objective. Actually, actually killing Mike's stuff is making life easier for him. Not good. Uh, we'll go for the Falcon. It's firepower angled across here. So we'll see what that can do. We'll go Bright Lance first. Single shot. There's a hit. Two's for a wound. We'll reroll the wound now. Okay, wound comes through. Invulnerable save. Pass. Pulse laser. Reroll single hit roll. Ech. Three's to wind. And two wounds do come through. Two and one saves once again. An excellent so far. One save, one goes through, and it's d6 damage. And it's just a wound. Uh, just the one? Just the one. And yeah. if you want a pain, could even block it, which it does. <laughs> well, Sam. well done. Nightmare. This is why we chose this combination. This is a test for the Eldar. This Necron list is, has proved a nightmare in the previous game. and knew it was strong, and Mike's just given us a great exhibition there. He shrugged off Eldar firepower, uh, which other factions fear. Uh, the Necrons have barely noticed anything coming through. Charges to take place, I'm going to say... No. I'm no, I, no, 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 no. I'll, st I'll stay on this objective and we'll hand it over to you and see what you want to do uh, with the Wraiths. But we'll say no charges here for the Eldar and we'll finish their turn. Frustrating for them. All right, so turn one comes to an end. Points coming through for the Eldar. Four points picked up for Investigate Signals. Uh, secure No Man's Land, two points picked up. So six points to zero. Eldar uh, can rejoice that points are flowing through for those two secondaries. And... Uh, that's about it. So turn one comes to an end. We'll hand over to the Necrons next. We'll see what they decide to do. Eldar, although they haven't made contact with the Necrons uh, as they'd hoped, a lot of stuff's out of range, hidden away, so that's some steps towards preservation here. When our stuff dies, it dies. Necrons uh, have that nightmare ability where they can uh, restore wounds, restore models. So Eldar need to go for good, clean, efficient kills here and preserve their numbers at the same time. So maybe on future turns. But turn one, uh, there's been a bit of points harvesting from them. We're going to turn one now for the Necrons. We'll see what they do. Uh, the two armies are some distance away from each other. All right, so Necrons turn one. There's a lot going on, a lot of opportunities for them. Two cards being drawn, overwhelming force and deploy, de teleport, homer. deploy teleport homer uh, are the two options yeah, here for the Necrons. So, shifting out here, Mike's going to go after the Eldar. Uh, he's got plenty of options to do it, both in firepower and close combat. So, uh, the Heavy Locust Destroyer is moving out across here to fire across in this direction. They're going to be supported by the Doomstalker, which has moved across as well. The other one's remained on the objective. We've got targets that they can see. Wraiths are going to go aggressive, and they may well end up <coughs> going after Bright Star across here and the uh, Shining Spears. Uh, then the Wraiths, uh, they have gone aggressive. They're going to go after the Shining Spears and potentially Bright Star as well. Ten inches as the crow flies, they can fly, so they just go straight through to here, uh, across in this direction. Uh, Necron Warriors have advanced, have got themselves in range and have captured the objective. Scorpec Destroyers moving up in support. Wraiths have moved across in this direction to go after Eldar units and may well have a charge as well. And then it's the Tomb Blades have grabbed that objective uh, securing no man's land. It means that Mike's the power matrix for yeah. your detachment now runs uh, across no man's land as well. So it's going to benefit his canoptic units. So movement stunt. No overwatch or anything coming from the Eldar here. Just going to have to brace themselves uh, for the Necrons. Eldar can move fast, but so too can this Necron army. It's responded uh, with great haste here uh, against the Eldar. So you don't wait to be assaulted by the Eldar. It's better to take the fight to them. And that's what the Necrons are doing with boldness here. We'll go on to their shooting phase next. All right, we're on shooting phase. End of movement phase, though. We did play Phantasm. We've put it onto Bright Star as we have uh, pulled him back. You can make a 7-inch normal move, 1 CP. So we've pulled him away out of potential charge uh, range against those rays. Just trying to uh, keep Bright Star alive. So He sensed something was coming his way, an, an impending sense of doom. So he decided to move. Cost us a CP. We've got three, so we've used one, so we've got two left, so not too bad. Ah, the Patreons, yeah. This is the first Patron of the season. Long longbow BB. BB. All on the Longbow BB. Oh, no, it's the double stack. Yep. And they're going to go into the Wraith... Wraith Lord. Lord, yep. <clears throat> okay. Ugh, what can you do? So 
So hitting on threes because I moved. Yeah, I'm looking at lightning fast reactions, but it's uh, it can't be used on a wraith construct unit. As much as I'd like the wraith lord to dance, he cannot. So, go ahead. Yeah. Are you re-rolling ones or something? Cause destructor, is it a vehicle or a monster? Yes. Yeah, re-rolling wind rolls of one. Fine. Gotta hit the opening threes. Yeah. Malfunction error. <laughs> Windows has crashed. <laughs> two ones and a two. Right, well, let's, let's put a beaming smile across this elder player's face. I can't hide it. <laughs> like a Cheshire cat. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, nightmare. That was a plum target there. I fear those things for taking out uh, Rave Lords, but they've missed. So, yeah. What can you do? <clears throat> Wait till we stop recording and then I can yeah. start streaming. <laughs> I'll do the Doomstalker into the. Um, is it a five one? Yeah, the Wraith Guard yeah. with the guns, yeah, because it's damage three, so it's a suitable target. <clears throat> it's Blast, so I might get an extra shot. They're in their power matrix, they're actually pretty good as far as reliable fire power is concerned. Yeah, so max speed knuckles. Okay, the number of dice, yeah, Six number of shots. One. A oh, one, nice play. Nick, Nick, Patreons, Patreons haven't forgiven you, Mike, for the grand no. final. <laughs> no. They're having no. their revenge. <laughs> okay. Two shots plus one. Yeah. So three. Okay, three shots. Hmm. Fours because I moved. We were one. Okay. One. This is the power matrix, which helps get us to you. They are. Yeah, your strength is going to be good. Strength 14. If it is, it's twos. Twos. And two go through. Minus three, plus three. Minus three. We'll say minus two for cover. So we're looking at two up, three up, four ups on two dice. A Patreon's my friends. I have to ask Jordan Russell. A fellow weeping Eldar player left over from the grand final, and he says, or 50 50, part, partly is on my side, but then doesn't forgive me for losing <laughs> in the grand final. Uh, straight free damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just have to take it. What can you. Yeah. Come on, re roll. 50 50. Uh, no, sorry, 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 but he's got to go. I'll hold on to the two CP. I will control myself. New Year's resolution to further restrain CP spendage. Go ahead. One casualty caused. Uh, ooh, hold it right there. I think I get to shoot, don't I? Uh, yeah, so I've taken this model here, actually, and then I'm going to shoot with these two, which can see the rapes just about. Need fours. Two hits. And then twos to wound. Double six, whoa, okay, a bit of snap firing a vengeance there. Uh, go ahead. I don't think a vengeance is a word, vengeance. Four plus. Yeah, force to block these. No, finally, two go through. The damage is D6. Might could come on reroll if he wants to, but he might oh, want to save that for a chance. All right, D6 on the first one. Duh. Six. I think we'll roll this now. I think. So I need to make three eddies. Yep, five ups. Look at that, it's done it. So useful, it's incredibly useful. And the other one's five more wounds. We'll get one of the models, but so it should have been, one. yeah, it should have been two though. That group tech's mighty useful. Yep. All right, got him. All right, so one model slain and removed. Okay, so Mike can continue on with his firepower here. Probably should have spent that CP. <laughs> yeah, Mike had an option to play a CP to give him the reanimation protocols straight away so he could um, restore the model back and he wanted to put it in closer to get a even more of a guaranteed charge. But he elected to, to save the CP. Mike's yeah. on one, we're on two. I don't think I'm going to shoot these under here in case you pull. Away? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's tricky stuff going on here. Yeah. So that's all shooting done. All right. We're at a range of things. Yep. 
They fluffed, and that's no target. Yeah, this one at the back here. Can't see anything. Eldar have effectively hidden themselves away from that at least. Mike's free to make charges. There's two potentially good ones. Yeah. This one coming in across here, which can now only go after the Shining Spears. Uh, unless Mike goes as the crow flies across here, but I don't think he will. And then uh, the Wraiths to go after my Wraiths. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So I'm going to start with that one first. The easier charge. It's the one that I want to go off. Yeah. In case I need to spend CP. Okay, I'm not going to use oh, Overwatch could, could be helpful. It's tempting to Overwatch, but I doubt I'd bring one model down. There's no point if I can't bring a whole model down. So we'll leave it. Go ahead and make your charge. This should go through, no problem at all. Six will do it. Yeah, Mike's gone in around here. Does look particularly impressive. Necrons Eldar is a classic. We haven't played it as much on the channel in recent years, but now Mike's here with his Necron experience, we can do this combination, which is great to see. So an eight required for... Eight inch charge for the other Wraith units. This would be Dreamland if both Wraith units go in. This will tie the units up. Come on, Reroll on standby. Oh, Mike's not sure what to do about the Patreons here. I don't. I feel like with... The artist for known as V. He goes to a friendly Chaos plan. Seven. You said you need an eight. Yeah. Oh. I seen the six and I thought, oh, nice. What's the number of inch? I need a seven. No, that's normal. I need seven's normal. It's corn. Nine. Slash, isn't it? I don't know. Nine. Anyway, sorry, he's got enough to think about. <laughs> Go, come on, hero. Here it comes. Ah, oh, nine. Got it. Oh. <laughs> in they go. All right, we've got a second. Uh, Wraith attack coming in here. Brilliant Vanguard units. We've seen how flexible they are. Been able to pull away from the Eldar and then just go zooming in uh, when needed. They are a nightmare to kill. So Eldar are going to struggle here. And we may well find ourselves tied down by these two nightmare units. It means that these two units can fight away, tie the, unit, tie the Eldar up, to cause casualties, uh, and it gives free reign for the rest of Mike's units to move up, grab objectives, shoot, and so on. So we're liking the idea of this. Wraith themed list here. And the Wraiths have come out of storage. They've stored away for a good while, so it's good to see them back on the board. They used to be a nightmare, a bane for James. James hated them, utterly hated the Wraiths. But they are back, tormenting the Elder. So we've got ourselves a combat across here. Wraiths against Wraiths, Michael Strike first. He sees them as the biggest threat and the potential causing the most damage. Yeah. I think about class. Mike's within his power matrix again because he's got more than there's three no man's land objectives. Mike controls two, which means that his matrix then moves into this zone here as well. So he then gets for canoptic units reroll hit rolls and moon rolls. No, um, reroll hit roll. Reroll hit roll. Yeah. Right. We might be all right with toughness seven. There's a fair bit of effort to bring these things down. They can hack back, so we've got ourselves a good fight going on here. Here it comes. Hitting on four as we go in. Okay. It's going to be hitting about average. That wasn't too bad even. Looks all okay. Oh no, that was for the... Miles above average, very, very efficient. Right, so. Strength six. Toughness seven. Five, Five ups, yeah. It's be a lot of chewing to get through these Wraith Blades here. Mike's getting the five pluses. Mm. There's another one I can see, yeah. Six in total. Mm. Minus. Minus one front two. Minus one. So we're going to take three up saves here. And your damage? Two. Right. Two make it through. There's not much I can do about this, so I'll have to lose a model. So I'll lose, I'll lose that one. So Wraith Blade gone. Uh, there's a rule for it that lets them fight. 
do not remove from play. So I'm just going to roll dice on a four plus that model can fight. It does. Interesting. So we'll 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 leave that there. We'll come back to him because I I think we'll play our two CP and go for the interrupt here to give the shining spears some kind of chance. Yeah. So we'll we'll fight here. We've, we've pushed them in. So they're all fighting. Now, I think I can roll all together. No, because it's twos to hit with the... So we'll go with Star Lance first, four attacks. We'll pick a friendly Patreon player. We'll go Martin Vagabond on this one. Harlequin's player. So we'll go for twos with the Star Lance. And we'll re-roll this one. As they will hit. We'll try and wound on fives. And we get two. And then we'll roll re-roll wound. So two come through. Michael goes in one saves here, two four ups. These are two damage each. Okay, right, two wounds come through. Mike can feel no pain. Five plus. No, right, two wounds taken. Okay, and then his comrades. I think it's going to be 12 attacks. They're three attacks each. Like so. Oh, no, it's a squad of six. So I had an extra three. So threes. Okay, we've already used our rerolls here. So we'll just take those away. There's no kind of lethals or anything coming through now. Then five to win. This is a big enough roll here. And we get three. You can't really complain. It's not spectacular. Three, four plus invulnerable saves. Each of these is two damage. Three, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then feel no pains. No. Okay. So model destroyed. Uh, so we've remo removed the model and put two wounds on actually as well. Uh, we say much should roll in pairs. Uh, we randomised the result and it's, the model was slain and then enough wounds came through for two more wounds to go onto one of the wraiths. So killed one, wounded another. <laughs> Okay, so Mike can now make his attacks back. Yeah. Again, he's within his power matrix. He's getting his reroll hit rolls. Four so, left. so helpful. Yeah, four of them left, yeah. yeah. So built-in minus one to hit rolls against the Shining Spears. Okay. Fives now? Yeah. That's quite big. Come on, Liv. Yeah, it's cancelled out a load of fours. Quite a bit. Yeah, there's another fire set. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mike can fish for fives. Cool, what a result would have been if you weren't re rolling. Yeah. Uh, it has helped. Shiny Spears are evading yeah. the wraiths here. Three's to win though this time. Four make it through. Shiny Spears may well preserve themselves here. So you said four? Yeah, four minus one. Minus one. So we can go to four up saves. Which we'll just put onto normal models. Ah, oh, yeah, not bad. Okay, and uh, nothing I can do about that. But we've blocked three, so it's damage two. Mm -hmm. So it's going to kill a model if we're two wounds each. We are, so we'll lose a model, but we'll take that result. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, interesting. Ah, uh, oh, not over yet. Got the uh, take the answer. You can stab a little <clears> bit. <throat> Nice. Re rolling because he's crypt tech, I guess. Snake eyes. Okay. First snake eyes of the season. Yes. Here's to many more, Mike. <laughs> okay. Uh, combat done across there. Yeah. Um, so, Eldar, bit of backbone from them. They're surviving okay against the Wraiths, but trying to kill Wraiths back is part of the nightmare of those two units. Uh, we'll strike back with the Wraith Blades next. We'll fight back across there. It's an epic fight. There's no doubt about that. We've also got to remember the extra model that's fighting as well. But we'll go with the Spirit Seer first of all. We'll do his attacks. He gets two of his Witch Star. The Infantry. No, you're Beast. No, no, no. Okay, so we're looking for twos of him. And then we're coming in at strength three. Sixes now. Ha! Nothing. Okay, it's anti infantry. Mark's not infantry. Uh, then we'll go for the Wraith. Guard, Wraith Blade, sorry. Looking something like that. Plus one to the hit rolls, because the Spirit's here, and lethal hits as well, so sixes are great. And why not? We'll go for a Xenosy friend of some kind. Aha, Chris Kamiski. 
some crazy sixes. And he has delivered this four. So four lethal hits come through. Not a bad roll, actually. Thanks, Chris. Good one. And then we'll try and roll... Well. Strength. Seven. Three's on. Three to wound. And we'll re-roll a single wound roll. Yeah, that helps for the unit. I should have re-rolled a hit roll from earlier on, which we got a hit, and then we got a wound as well, so let that in. So we are looking at a total of nine saves of four plus, saving minus two, two damage. There's no feel no pain on this one. We're saying we should get a second crypto and add it to that unit, but for now, it's on the painting desk of doom. So fours. My fours to block. Ooh. To block some, but a lot have made it through. What's the damage? Damage two. These could be in pairs. Yep, that would one. kill one. That'll kill two. two. And that'll kill three. Ouch, Sheldar struck back well. I'm just happy enough to keep you locked in. Tied up, yeah. One, two, and three. Interesting. Okay. I'm sorry, I should take that one because it was already on a wound. Uh, all right, so Eldar have been attacked, but they've they've stood their ground. I have to say, they've they've weathered that storm quite well. <clears throat> End of turn, I think. Points coming through. We'll calculate points, give an idea on the score line uh, at this stage. All right, as uh, no points coming through, Mike's going to discard overwhelming force and deploy teleport home. He's going to keep, so he'll be able to draw a fresh card next turn. All right, so turn one complete. I have to say. Eldar came out of that better. It's not surprised at that. Uh, Rafe's had the advantage of charging in two potent combats, uh, but Eldar managed to keep themselves alive uh, quite well. So, but they find themselves tied up now against Rafe units. That's part of the objective for Mike is to tie up the Eldar uh, units and pin them down, which he has done successfully. But Eldar can wriggle, and wriggle they will try to do. We'll see what happens. We'll go on to the second turn of the game coming up for the Eldar next. Right, so turn two for the Eldar. Behind enemy lines and engage in all fronts is the two cards that have been drawn. Uh, Eldar going for the counter attack uh, here. So we paid a CP for feigned retreat. So we've pulled out of close combat, moved 14, headed across in this direction, a bit reckless with Shining Spears, but you know, finding it hard to, I think it's going to be hard to hide them on the table. So we're just going to try and send them in, try and cause as much damage as possible. So headed off to the middle of the table. Uh, in this direction, they can shoot and charge. Bright Stars jumped on top here. He's, he's in range of the objective. Uh, the Wraith Guard moved out of the way. And then the Wraith Lord moved through. Uh, bikers have pushed up to lay down some firepower at point blank range. Bans Banshees have disembarked and headed across in this direction, making an advance move. Uh, to assist the Wraith Blades. The Wraith Lords emerged from his hiding place. And then lining up their firepower, the uh, Shroud Runners, to shoot at Mike's bikes. So that's going to shoot the Tomb Blades over there. The Avatar have rolled an advanced roll, have made it across here. Going for a dash with him to try and threaten these units along the back line. Uh, just to try and distract. Similar tactic, I guess. Mike's thrown his units in. We're going to try and put the Avatar in uh, as well. So that's movement done. Shooting phase is going to be quite crucial here for the other. We'll move on to that next. Mike's reminded me, uh, it's all been declared, it's fine. Uh, Overwatch is coming from this, come up to Doomstalker against these bikes. So we've left it so we can roll it up on camera, but it was just declared earlier on, no problem, for a CP. Oh, Ray Cross, he must be annoyed. Oh, he's down to a player. Oh, he's going to play it. Okay, it's the Ray Cross dice. Oh, it's his number of shots. Yeah. You do get an extra one because we're a five man squad. Plus. The plus one you get anyway. Okay, so you're guaranteed to get three shots at least. Oh, it's average. Okay. Okay, five shots. Mike does need fives though. Oh, crumbs. Maybe not. Built in minus one tick rolls? Or is it unmodified fives? Unmodified hit rolls of five plus. Go ahead. Oh. Another big roll. A lot of pressure on the very crushed dice here. Yeah. <laughs> One. Reloadable. Oh, yes, because of the power matrix. And another two. Wow, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, and I reckon you're going to be on twos to win, no problem. 14. Go ahead. <sighs> two. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to let it drag. Okay. And it's damage three. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 
<clears throat> okay. I'll... Yeah, I think I'll go... I'll do... Oh boy, I'll do Strands of Fate on one of them. And then I roll up a 5 plus invulnerable save on the same model. Uh, I will search this guy here at the back. This one. So 5 plus. Shrug it off. No. And... I'll... Come on, yeah, I'll go reckless of breaking my New Year's resolution already. We'll go for the 5 plus reroll on that one. Da foul, da. Okay, so we'll lose a model. Unless you roll. You roll no, straight through, isn't it now? Just straight through, yeah. Yeah, so we set it up to that model there. All right, so lost a model on Overwatch. And then just two on Gauls Flare, but it's not a special. A couple of diddly shots. One. Um, re nope. Okay, all right. Cover up with the barricade. Yeah, I'm going to fire everything into the Warriors with the Shining Spears. So we've got the three regular models. Uh, needing threes. Uh, probably done this in the wrong order. So those come free, uh, and then we are looking at force to end, re-rollable for twin linked, and three make it through, minus one, plus one for cover, so back to normal, minus save yourself, four plus. Two dead. Two dead, two broke down. Uh, we'll then go for the shuriken cannon, actually, on the Exarch. I'll re-roll a hit roll now. And it is threes, though, with that weapon, I believe. Yep, it's just the one. And no wound coming through, we'll reroll it now. And failed. Okay. Then, yeah, because tough is four. We'll then go for laser lances. Three shots, straight up threes. Just making sure. And threes, yeah. And no wounds coming through again. And then finally the star lance, which does hit and fails to wound again. Okay, so that's them down, disappointing. Just fired the shuriken pistol uh, from Spirit Seer. Got a hit, got a wound, failed save. So one wound comes through. Banches, they advance, but they're a pistol assault weapons. So I can fire across to these. Uh, so we are looking at Jane's are first of all. So the silent death is six attacks. Need twos. Uh, three wound here at strength six. Rear old wound roll now. Shooting phase is. Disappointing that two come through. These are even minus two, so invulnerable saves. Yeah. Blocked both, well done. Okay, and then pistol shots. Uh, four shots with pistols. One's out of range, rear or hit roll. Because James, I've got all of the hits, so that is a hit. Yep. Five's to wind. One wind comes through, minus one, so four up. Uh, no, wound taken. Um, five plus no pain. Yeah, takes blocked, wound taken. Uh, I'm going to fire these next. They're going to put their shots into there. I can try and overwhelm these rows of firepower if we can. It's so far, uh, shooting phase for both sides has been frustrating. Let's see if this volley helps. So we're looking at threes. Sixes are really useful. I'll re roll single hit roll. Take away all these ones that have missed. It looked really bad, but actually it's not too bad at all. And then there's three bonus hits have come through for sustained with the shuriken cannons. Toughness. Six. It is toughness six, right. We're coming in uh, at strength six, just double checking. So fours for wounds, reroll one of those. These are minus one, so four plus vulnerable saves. We're not gonna wipe them here, but it depends on the roll here, eight. Uh, yeah, eight. Eight, four pluses. You a fair bit's got through. Not too bad, but block three. What's the damage? It's uh, two dice at a time. It's damage two. So, so this yeah. will keep a Wraith model alive. Yeah, five ups. Yeah, so That's right. Now, or just five, five, yeah. So the first pair, yeah. Almost. Good, yeah. All right, so we'll just move that model out of the way. You could roll uh, four dice now, I guess. Or just pairs, it doesn't matter how you want to do it yet. So two, make it through, yeah. No, 
Next one. Blocks both. The one doesn't feel no pain. Blocks another, and that's the last pair. It's making a huge difference there. Almost right. So it slays another one model. Once again, as we've seen, the feel no pain on there is coming from the Cryptek, proving to be most useful. Someone get me a sniper. <laughs> Let's pick that character up. Okay, well, we'll go with these, the Wraith Guard, uh, next. So just four shots with these. Being fours. Uh, rear or single hit roll. And then twos. Yep, two come through, two in one saves. This is quite a big roll, this one. One blocked, well done. And uh, one makes it through, and that's going to be d6. And it's a two. I should have, well, I can't do anything about it, Mike, because you just go ahead. And feel no pain, one and just one wound coming through. Oh, struggling now. So just check back on the footage. Uh, one of those was devastating wounds. We randomized, uh, worked it out. There's a few more wounds came through. Mike then got feel no pains and passed all of them. So the result stands as it is. So that's all good. Uh, so firepower from these. These finished. I think it remains for the Bright Lances. We've got to go into these now. Yeah, okay. So we'll do catapults now. I uh, know bright lances first, just for the rerolls. So bright lances, uh, two falls needed. Uh, one hit comes through, reroll, hit roll. Two hits come through. Two to wind. Two wins come through. Down to him, one saves here. Chance to get these wraiths, unless Mike can. Oh, snake eyes again. It's the second one of the game. Nothing you can do. So D six damage plus two. Seven wounds on the first wraith. And then the other one is two plus two, four wounds on the last. Interesting. So seven to keep this model alive. Michael just roll the. Uh, I need a four. Yeah, you need a. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just, you just maybe a chance. I can see a. That's insane. One. <laughs> one, one wound comes through. Feel no pain. That should be banned on that unit. <laughs> one wound comes through. I had the guaranteed there, I thought. Okay, so you've got four more saves to make on the same model, which should be dead a long, long time this ago. This is where it'll go wrong. <laughs> oh, boy, five pluses again. So powerful. Triple six, what the... God, friend of terror. Sorry, from one of them. God, it should be long, long gone. Feel no pain is incredibly good. Uh, twin shrink, catapults in. I already used my reroll hit roll. I'll use my reroll wind roll. Yeah, two come through. Uh, eight minus one. Four, four ups. Ah, now those sneak through. And uh, five up, feel no pains. Typical. <laughs> Typical. Uh, single wound, so that's going to put uh, take him out. Sorry, and then put a single wound on another. Like so. All right, so we'll go uh, Falcon, everything it has into there, just to continue on this firepower. So we are looking at Pulse Laser first. I'll reroll now. Missed. Raised to wound. And I'll reroll now. I. I. No, I think it's strength nine. Correct. So yeah, one wound comes through. Uh, four plus invulnerable saves. is d6 damage. Blocked. Uh, Bright Lance. Good bounce here and missed. Uh, oh boy, shuriken cannon. Uh, one, two hits come through, sustained. Force to wound, they've all come through. Uh, minus one, so four plus and vulnerable saves. Two make it through. Damage. Mike's getting cover, so he's, it's only AP minus one, so you can cancel that out and you're back to your three up save. Yeah, yeah so, so no damage has come through at all. Right, okay. But you've no land sights on here. Yeah, all right. Mike's played a CP. I was going to fire Bright Lances across here, but he's shut it down. For a CP, you can't shoot within range 12. It's a bad omen, <clears> isn't it? Yeah. No, I've been smart enough that I don't want once the bottom and shooting, but I'm not. Look, what's, it, what's the stratagem called? It's unique for the Connecticut. It court. is a contemporal shift. One Connecticut unit from your army is selected as a target of one or more attacking units. Until the end of the phase, your unit can only be selected as a target of a ranged attack if they attack a model is within 12 inches. 
Amazing. <clears throat> so we were right to cluster around tight yeah. on those, not to back off. So but I played it a turn before when the bottom was shooting, I'd have another race. But yes, yeah, this firepower that came from there. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Just put everything into two blades. Two bright lances. Two hit. Hey, no, 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 no. You got a built-in minus one to hit rolls. I think they have. What do they? Yeah, what? Um. Sure they do. Yeah, it's minus one to hit rolls. So I'm gonna reroll one of these. We get a six. We'll try and wound it on two. So you're down to a save or invon save. Yeah, so no one save. Uh, so my, my model slang is D6 plus 2. What's the AP on? Uh, minus 4. Oh, then definitely not. Yeah, so D6 plus 2, yeah, one dead. Yeah. Just double checking. Uh, minus 3. We'll cover here. Yeah. Max is going to gain cover on one of the models. Uh, 6 plus to block. You good? So 6, yeah. Yeah, go oh. ahead. <gasps> A 5. Okay. Yeah. Uh, twin shooting catapults. Range 18. Five to wind. Snake eyes. Reroll hit roll. Oh, reroll wind roll. One wind roll comes free. Minus. One. Back up to. Back up four up. Yeah, four plus. No. Okay, one wind taken. We'll go to the sniper bikes whilst we're at it. So we'll go for scatter lasers. Your toughness is five. Yep. Okay. Scatter lasers needing threes. Here are single hit roll now. Force to win. Strength five. We are all wind roll now. Oh, there's loads of threes in there. Uh, six saves of three up. Well, um, yeah, the models in cover will get the plus one. One's in the open, four ups. Yeah. Um, six of them in total. Might have to get cover for the whole lot because I'm shooting through terrain across the other side there. So you can take six saves of three up. And passes them all except one. It's enough to slay a mortal. We'll see if snipers can make any kind of difference here. In twos with these. A five. That comes through. Again, minus one, three up. So this is two damage. Minus one? Yeah. That puts me to four. Okay. And uh, then cover again. Back to four. Sorry, yeah, got four, it. Yeah. Yeah, four ups. Yum, two damage. So pick off one more. Okay. Uh, bright star to fire down there just to assist. Need a two. Need a something higher. That's not good enough. That's better. Or plus invulnerable save. Bright star blocked. Nice six. Mike's invulnerable save rolling has been superb in this game. Okay, so I think shooting phase is now finished for the Elder. It has been disappointing, but some damage has been coming through. There are some charges lined up. We'll go on to charge phase next. All right, so charges taking place. All has gone according to plan. So the Wraith Lord's gone in. Wraith Guard have gone in as well. Cross here, the Banshees and the Wraith Lord went in. No kind of rerolls or strands, dice needed. And then uh, the bikers are playing to the edge of the barricade here to reach the Necron Warriors. And some of them uh, have gone around to the side here to reach uh, Ramses himself. So we'll just zoom in so you can see the fights that are about to take place. This one across here, a bit of a doomed charge, really, I think, from the Shining Spears. Just trying to a distraction. We've got this fight across here and across here as the Eldar desperately try to mop up and deal with these wraiths before they can move on to the rest of the Necron army. Uh, it's no CP available for either of us here, so we'll go on to uh, charging units to fight first. I'll do the wraith guard first, see if it can help bring a wraith uh, down. We all hit roll. Need fours. So it is, it is poor. Reroll this one. So two wounds come through, I think. No. Not three. It's two. Strength five. Not strength six. Any AP? Five's to win. Nothing. Just using no, their fists. Three ups. Just boxing gloves. Mike passes with ease. Oh dear. Okay, little point to charge in those here. And we'll go to the Wraith Lord next. And he's got to do well. He's got to try and destroy these... Raves. We'll go for uh, the glaive. So we get four attacks and we need fours. Ugh. As our reroll single hit roll. 
Right, so that's not good at all. Um, I will, my, for my reroll single hit roll, I'll strand it and go to a four. So now two make it through. I'll try and wound. This is not going well. I'll try, try and wound here on, it may not even be, it may not even be twos. No, it's strength 10 on the ghost slave. So threes, both go through. Mike Santi and Von saves two at four ups. I will maybe one at a time. Oh. Uh, we was just saying maybe one at a time, just in case Mike was able to block one uh, before it gets through to the crypto. But both have been fouled, so both are going to go through. No command rerolls available, so we're going to go for damage on the first one. It's three. So... Oh, D6 plus one, so it's four. Four five ups. It's already taken a wound, so generally a good roll will keep you in the back. Three, isn't it? Yeah, oh, gone no. through. Oof. Right, now now a chance. Eldar in their noble hatred to hack down that wretched cryptech that's proved the most annoying <laughs> models on the board. D6 plus one, the Eldar say... Six wounds taken. Five and one, six. Now, because this whole attack sequence happened while I was leading the unit, I still get my feeling no pain. Uh, yeah, simultaneous, I think so, yeah. yeah Correct, as we're on. Unit, it's fine it. by me, yep. Yeah. So many was there, sorry? Six in total. Six. Need to make three of these. Not enough, so fight. No, this is the last hurdle here. One, oh. Enough just to enough to get him. Down. Damn, mate, it took a lot of effort. So who was that? That was uh, Phoenix Sword Andrew Swan battling away there. Solidarity from that unit, there's no doubt about it. But finally, finally, the Elder uh, overwhelmed that Wraith unit, one of the toughest units on the board there for the Necrons. So the Elder will be glad to see the back uh, of that unit. Took a lot of effort here. Uh, Bright Star guiding in the attacks from the Wraith Lord. Okay. So we'll now shift our attention across to this fight and over here. So I think we'll go with the Wraith Lord first. So we'll do his attacks, four attacks with him. We'll go Phoenix Lords here. There's a couple of Blood Angels of Orion, of course. Blood Angels of Orion for close combat. He relishes close combat. E one. Reroll one hit roll. No. No. Six. No. Reroll. No. <laughs> whiffed. Oh. The, what whiffed? The Brave Lord. Ooh. Blade didn't go through. Swinging like crazy, but failing to hit any of these wraiths here. As you can imagine them squirming and squiggling around, ducking and diving attacks going through. Uh, we have to leave the wraith blades. So we'll go to the Banshees next. We'll turn to... Uh, a lady of great skill. Jane's up next with her attacks. So six attacks with the Blade of Destruction. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for her unit reroll, single hit roll. And then we'll go for Force to Wound. We don't get the plus one to the wound roll because the Falcon didn't support. So looking at fours, rerolling. Yeah, three make it through. Good for her. Her blade finds its mark three times. He's a damage two. Michael take his invon saves. Big enough roll. Blocked all of them. I can't believe this. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go on to her bodyguard next, which is intact. It's still hitting this. It is. It's extreme. It is extreme. Um, we'll go for the executioner. Four attacks. Two's to hit though because of uh, they're being led by Jane's arm. Nice. Five to win. Nothing bounces off. <gasps> okay, and then we'll go for Banshee Blades. Looking something like this. We are not going to bring any of these down here. Looking for twos. And we are strength four, thankfully, so fives. Terrible. Just two. The AP's good, so it's AP minus. Enough to take Mike down to vulnerable saves and Ooh, snake eyes again. again. Two wounds caused, but I think that's just going to add on two wounds, not enough to slay a model if they're four wounds each. Yep. All right, it's two wounds caused. Nice. 
Go with the Shining Spears next. We're going for the Star Lance. It could be twos for the Exarch. It is. Uh, strength for three to wound on the charge of Lance. All wounded. Nice work. Minus three. That's going to be four dead straight mm -hmm. away. That's expert stuff there from the Exarch. And then his three comrades. Again, no, need threes. Or re roll, single hit roll. And then we're looking at threes to wind. Re roll, single wind roll. Nope. Uh, four come through. These are at minus two. Four saves a six up. Yeah. Nope. None. Four more slain. Okay, so we fend their ranks, but Necron Warriors not too much panic with them, and they'll comfortably hold on to the objective. Okay, Shining Spears will stay where they are, and the Warriors can strike back. The Warriors aren't too dangerous, but in amongst them is Ramses, and he'll happily strike back with his glaive. Okay, and the Wraiths will get to strike across here as well. No, actually, Mike will choose, and he'll choose the Wraiths, of course. All right, Wraiths are going to strike the Wraith Blades. It's a tricky combat, this one, because they're hard to wind. So, uh, four's really wrong. Yeah, Mike's using the Sam Hermes dice for these attacks. Okay. Uh, Five's to wind, the tricky bit. Two. Two. Oof, boy, okay. It's minus one, so we'll take three up saves. Which we foul one, so we'll take two damage. But that's it, we'll just absorb that with three win models. Yeah, it's it's tedious for the Eldar, but look at the damage. Eldar lost just a couple of models. Necron's casualties are lining up uh, it's quite impressively across the other side there. Rafe's taking heavy casualties. They are delaying the Eldar, but the Eldar are prevailing in these attacks. We've seen it here. Uh, we'll go with the Rafe plates and we'll strike with them. So they're back up to full strength for three attacks each. They have the Spirit Seer with them, which is. Kind of the equivalent to your Crypt Tech. Dishing out some decent abilities, giving us lethal hits and plus one to the hit rolls. So we're looking at threes. I'll re roll this one. Take away the ones that have failed, which is a lot actually. It's all of those. So three lethal hits coming through. We can try and win now on these. Need threes. And re roll one of these. Okay, six make it through. So six, uh, minus two. Yep. So four plus invulnerable saves. Okay, so three make it through. There's one on a three wounds already. It's going to slay one. And it looks like enough to slay one more. So those two are going to go. But one, crucially, will remain. So Eldar have not got their wipeout. All right, and then no wounds. Yeah, take all wounds away. You got a fresh model. Okay. Um, no, I can choose which one I want to do. Yeah. I'll do spirit see whilst he's uh, removing models. Uh, two hits come through. We'll try and wound here. Again, you're not infantry. No. So we're terrible with strength three. We'll reroll. We can't reroll anything. So that's it. That's finished. So which stuff making no impact at all. All right, so that's that combat resolved across there. One Wraith does remain in close combat uh, against the Wraith Blades at least, but the Banshees and the Wraith Lord now find themselves outside of close combat. Mike can now attack with Warriors. He'll go first with Ramses. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Hit on twos. Could be, let's just check here. It's minus one to hit roll. Built in, so three twos miss. Ouch. Wounds. Wind comes through. Three, two yeah, it's going to kill one. On the charge, you get a four plus invulnerable save. Failed, and it's two damage. So it's going to slay a model. We'll go. This model here. <laughs> Not that it's really going to help us. And then the warriors can make their attacks. Uh, ten attacks of Necron warriors. Fives now. Fives, yep. Yeah. There's a whole four here, but. And then 
Shrink 4. Uh, Shrink Spares. It may not all be in vain. They may tie up the Necromorphs to prevent a bit of firepower from them. Two wins do come free. And I paid three ups. Uh, one wind does come free, so I'll take a wind. Put it on this model here. All right, and that marks the end of close combat. So Eldar prevail it across here. They've struggled across here, but have gained the upper hand, just the one wraith left. And we've caused some damage, survived, and then tied up Necromorans across here. That's the end of the turn. At Eldar rushing to try and get ahead of the Necrons. They have to, because Necrons just become stronger and stronger as the game goes on. Uh, they're trying to neutralize units as efficiently as they can, but it's tedious work. It's tricky for them, there's no doubt about it. We'll go on to uh, the end of the turn here. We'll round up, see what the scoreline is. All right, so points coming in. Nine points for primaries. That was for control of two objectives and a character uh, on one, which was the avatar at the start of our turn. So nine points. Then three points picked up for uh, table quarters uh, being picked up for engaging all fronts. So that takes us to 18 points. 18 points to zero. It's, it's not fair to... Uh, to Look at that score yet because Mike's still got a turn to play through. He's got his second turn to come. So we'll get a better idea of the shape of the game once Mike's turn is finished. He's, he's guaranteed to pick up some points straight away here for the control of objectives. We'll see what he can pick up for his secondaries as well. But I think the Eldar, damage-wise, they've caused a fair bit more damage. Uh, and points-wise, they're ahead as well. Uh, but they've got to maintain that momentum here. And the game, as we've seen many times in the Necrons, it can slip and slide away from you as the Necrons start to recover models, recover units, uh, where you can't restore your own models back to the board. So I've got to get ahead, which they've done, but they've got to stay ahead. Mike's got a chance to interrupt that, if he can, on his turn two. Coming up next, the battle hangs in the balance. <laughs> So turn two here for the Necrons, uh, three wounds restored here, which is enough to bring back a whole model and another one with a wound uh, remaining. So really near full strength with those. Defend Stronghold, deploy Teleport Homer uh, is the two secondaries in play. Swap back Destroyers, a number of options where to go. They've gone dead ahead, coming across in this direction to go after Eldar units around here. Uh, their Necron Warriors and Ramses have remained in close combat against the Shining Spears. Holding position across here, and then swinging these both these units around just to clip the avatar so they can offload their firepower uh, into him. Nine points picked up as well for primaries. That's the control of three objectives on the board. So uh, end of movement phase, a couple little bits extra to cover. Hexmark destroyers landed here for deploy teleport Homer. Very very useful. About to pick up some points. Banshees, I paid a CP. Phantasm, we pulled them back seven inches. I got them out of there. That's preserved them from a charge from those, but also it's pulled them out of range of firepower from the Tomb Blades. But still, despite that move, Necrons do have some decent firepower options. We'll go on to their shooting phase next. All right, Michael's going to use the Michael Gem in dice. Yep. He's going to do split fire, Mike, with yep. the Tomb Blades. So 2d6 under here. It is blast and devastating, however, much less than five. Five, seven. So particle beam is a blast now, not guaranteed. Blast, devastating wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's a nice lot of shots. <clears throat> uh, we have stealth, so it's minus one to hit rolls. Is that a four <laughs> and I'll say it again? I hit all the <laughs> I don't know anyone really that plays against Eldar that likes them. So Mike's not an exception to the rule. Maybe a calmer version of James's. 
Mm -hmm. Hatred. James's hatred for the Eldar goes into the bones. It's deep. Strength five, toughness. Um, toughness four, four for those. So yeah. Threes, but we're looking sixes. You get one six. Yep. And two. It's your AP, one damage. Okay, we'll try and make some saves here. Not on snake eyes. I'm pulling out my own here in this game, so that's going to be three damage in total. Three damage. Uh, remove a black from the back. And the wound on the other one. Not bad, good shooting. Uh, three six attacks into the Wraith Lord with devastating wounds, it's worth a go. Ten yeah. shots. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. Just continuing on with the Michael German dice. There's a good lot of misses. Yeah. Mike can fish for sixes on four dice. And he gets two. Nice. So two wounds taken on the ray floor, dropping down to eight left. You're right, not too bad from the Tomb Blades. Uh, I should point out that this ray floor destroyed something last turn, and we got a Fate Dice, the result of a three. So we've got three threes now. A four, a five, and a six, and some ones and twos. So two portable casters and two chubby chubby dudes. Uh, yeah, this is from the Wraiths. One model resurrected, by the way, in the command phase. They are devastating ones with pistol. So. Okay. Uh, fours, re rolling. Yeah, because Mike's in his zone. Eleven. It was actually quite important we disrupted the No Man's Land objectives, which we didn't, by the way, but uh, it, it would have been important to do that to stop Mike getting these bonuses. Yeah, so we're up on sixes. We get none. none. Uh, I think you might what be on five. So it's toughness seven. Yeah, five. No wounds at all come through. All right. Okay, next. This is the Enmitic Annihilator. Oh, it's just coming from the Scorpic Lord. Yeah. So it's strength six. Five to wind. One minus one one damage. Uh, three up. No. Wound taken. Dropping yeah. down to seven. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to do the Locust Heavy Destroyers. Yeah, this is no firepower from here. This is not going close to combat. Yeah. So Locust Heavy Destroyers, here it comes. The three of these about to shoot, and they take it. They're going into the Avatar of Cain. Yep. Straight up ballistic skill here, looking for threes. Uh, yeah, so we want to pull. We want to pull. Oh. Travis and Jen. Travis and Jen, yeah. Yep. So Jen with the shooting, trying to get hits on threes. Rerolling, yep. Rerolling. Oh. Oh, two make it through. Travis with the wounding. Threes? Threes, yeah, because we're tough enough. Snake eyes again. <laughs> he will never escape <laughs> that nickname, ever. That is... That is the concrete has set. <laughs> it's never going to go. You can't roll four snake eyes in the game. <laughs> okay. Right. So what's going to happen now? Oh, we roll ones now. Oh, you a monster or... Yes. Cool. That was well remembered. Yes. Reroll. Don't get snake eyes again. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> okay. Right. One makes it through. And... Strands. On, and that was the end of that. Ugh. Yep, that's gonna end too. Yes, Eldar. You love them or you hate them. Most people hate them. <laughs> Alright, Doomstalker's not gonna take any nonsense here. It's gonna offload its firepower uh, into the Avatar as well. This is Nicholas Lucas, a number of shots. This is all down to a D6 here. It could be D6 plus one. Ah, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> teetered on a six, it rolls on to a one. Two shots, what can you do, apart from a command reroll? He's going to command reroll, he's going to re-annoy himself here if he rolls badly. Oh, six, well done. Next to the Oath of Moment marker. Yeah. All right. Good survival rates here on our Phoenix Lords as well. Just the one gone, Andrew Swan. The rest remain on the board for now. That's one, seven. I have to say, both sides locking horns nicely. It's a good matchup, definitely. Going back to the very early days of the Channel Necrons against the Elder. Nice. Just taking a breath. 
Right, okay, so... Don't forget to breathe. Because <laughs> he's moved. Sit on fours. Seven shots. Rerolling of the carpet. Just three, but it's re-rollable. It should be okay. There's another one. Okay, four come through. Wounding, so we threes. Yeah. Three fours make it through. AP minus three. Minus three, you'll say minus two. It's going to take me to my four up in one save or a four up save either way. I've just got to roll these, nothing I can do. I've got to come over here on standby. And we'll go to the solid space ring player, Michael Fryer. Ah, two. Two make it through. Damage three becomes damage two for me. So I'll take four damage. Yeah, yeah it's significant enough. It might be down to ten wounds left. There's not too much I can do about it. I could try and command reroll, but whether it's whether it's worth it. I'll drop to ten then. The we'll ball. see. I just want to see if I had to command reroll. I wouldn't have stopped it. All right. So. So the balls flare. Ah, uh, yeah, little piddly gun. Yeah. I hit. Or two. You go on. Yep. A six. And then a six. No. Okay. So five power from here is finished. <clears throat> This one? Yeah. Where's it go? There's targets. What well, no, I can't see here actually. So it's these are quite good at damage three, you'll take them out quite well. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Okay, D straight D6 plus one. Six. Nice. Four now, because you killed one last turn, yeah. So seven in total. Didn't move this time, need threes. And re rollable. Yeah. This could be a highly efficient hit coming through. Nice. And Excellent, just the one miss. Twos, I think, yeah. because you're strength 14. 14, yeah. Twos joined. All of them. Six. Minus, minus three. three. Oh, minus three is too good. Five up, something. There's no kind of cover for me. Really open. Oh, we passed three. But it's nearly wiped out the squad, so it's excellent shooting. And I'm just going to lose those. How sad. Three of them gone. There's doubts over the Wraith Guard as to how useful they are. They're a solid enough unit, but as to how much impact they may make their way for a fresh unit. Possibly. With infiltrating, hissing, striking scorpions. Just charge them. Right. Shooting phase finished. Charges next. One six inch charge into the Wraith Lord. The possibility of rolling on into the Wraith Blades. Five. No. And now what happens? Mike's going to check his data sheets for... Now, they're the old cards. We've, we've physically, with pen and ink, updated them to the new codex. Wondering if he's got any kind of rerolls built in. Don't think so. Oh, no. I know how the CP... That CP was it. used for what? Number of shots coming from one of these? Yeah. Ugh, charge does not go ahead. That's quite significant. <clears throat> uh, so we'll go on to... Uh, ongoing combats, which is... Surely I'll go first... And surely I must go with the... Well, I don't know about this one. I could try and cause some more damage across here against the Necron Warriors. I'll go with the Shining Spears. We'll do a final showing from them. I, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be gone here. So we'll go with the Exarch. Needing twos. Uh, we're also going to hit roll now. And then we need fours. Uh, we're also going to win roll. Just the one. That's going to kill one straight away. Yep. And then just six attacks with the regulars. Fours. Uh, two saves of six plus. Mm -hmm. Two more. Two more. That's it. Don't know. The wipeout's not guaranteed. Okay. Mike can go for the Yep. The Overlord, four attacks. <clears throat> no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Rafes. Yeah, definitely Rafes. <laughs> now they'll all get to fight, the two of them now, so there's going to be eight attacks. Four's re rollable. And pretty good. Fives to win, though. Triple five, and a six. Four of them at minus one. 
Four saves of three plus. Oh, strands now. Let's make three saves of three plus. Should we foul one? Which we'll take. And we'll lose this model here. Because I know I can resurrect him next turn. And I'll just do his roll to see if he fights, which he will. We'll just leave him there. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go with the Wraith Blades here. So we'll commit this attack to Nate Miller. In threes, thanks to that Spirit Seer. Very, very useful. We re roll a single hit roll. Failed. It's good enough. Not many misses. A couple of lethals. Now I'll try and wind on threes. All of them except that one, which comes through. So Mike's got 11 four up saves here. All damage two. So this could be. This could be it. This could be where we, we rid ourselves of these wretched wraiths. 11, yeah. 11 saves of 4 plus. And you'll block some. You'll block Close a lot. Oh, there's no feel no pain. That's enough. Got them. All right, target destroyed. Finally, all wraiths removed. So we have to sit where we are. We can't push ourselves closer to any kind of objectives. So that's it. That's done uh, with the wraith blades. It frees them up and... They'll restore our models, so they'll be back to full strength. Mike can now attack back. Four attacks with the Overlord. Yeah, Mike's going to go with the Warriors first. I think it was 11 attacks from last time. Although casualties have come through. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Back to 11 again, yeah. So what Mike restored, we killed. So 11. Let's do those first. Try and pick up a win to, to kill off that model that's already taken damage. Yeah, fives, yeah, fives. Shining Spears have been low impact in this game, but they've proved disruptive. Yeah, they're doing what my wraiths were meant to be. Yeah. Try to wound here. Um, toughness. Four. Mm. Enough. Alright, so it's all down to the Overlord. Ramses with the glaive. See if he can stab it into one of these bikers. Threes. Threes again. Strength Twos then. Nice. Devastating. Oh. Which is a flat two. Right. right. Devastating is applied at the end, so I'll have to leave that one. Uh, so we've got two others coming through, so I'm going to take uh, invulnerable saves. Charging five, so. Fives, yeah. We'll go on this model that's taken a win first. Five plus. Yes. And then five plus. No. So he'll die. Okay, and then I allocate, just trying to preserve here, I allocate onto the Exarch next and just take the two damage because he's a three win model, just to try and preserve numbers as much as we can. But it's a bit of a desperate situation with those bikers. Okay, and I think that's combat's resolved across the board. Okay, so Necrons have attacked here, but it's not gone according to plan. A charge across here didn't go in. Eldar have withstood again, uh, keeping themselves alive in a number of places. The upper tower still remains elusive on the board. Okay, turn comes to the end of silk points, can be traded in here by the Necrons. So Mike's not too far behind now. Nine points coming in, that's the control of three objectives, that's strong enough. The Eldar have got to do something about that if they can. Uh, and then five points coming in for deploy teleport home, really, really helpful. Bringing the Necrons up to 14 points. 14 points to 18. Eldar are ahead, but as we said, they've got to work hard if they're going to stay ahead. Uh, casualties for them are starting to come through. Now you can see some of their elite units uh, taking damage. So we've got to stop the Necrons from creeping back up and regaining the ascendancy here. To do that, I think the Elder needs to deliver uh, a heavy blow if they can. They do have resources available. They've got speed on their side. So we'll see what they can do. We're going to the third turn, really the middle stage of the game. Eldar need to stay one step ahead of the Necrons if they can. All right, so turn three for the Eldar. They're going to go for the kill. If it goes well, we could do well enough. There's a cluster of Necron stuff in the centre of the board. If we can deal with that, uh, then uh, the Necrons will find themselves in serious trouble. So the Eldar are going to go for it here. We've amassed as much of our strength as we can. Cards drawn is cleanse. So it's getting a unit onto a No Man's Land objective and, and then not shooting, sitting on top of it, which we'll happily do with Bright Star across here. 
Uh, storm hostile objective as well. So take a, take an enemy objective. So there's two objectives to go after across there. So we're going to go for that as well. So the secondary is matching up nicely with the overall plan. Nine points picked up for primaries. Control of that objective, this objective, and a character on that objective as well. Bright star started in range. Avatar swung to his left to go for these. A tasty prize over on this flank with shooting and close combat. Uh, then across it, Eldar units all filtering through in this direction. So the Wraith Lord, the single Wraith Guard. All Battleshock tests have been passed. Yeah, there's a move that I forgot that I declared. It's a CP, so it's a feigned retreat to full back shoot and charge. We've done that with the Shining Spears, continuing to harass the Necrons. Banshees have moved through, rolled an advance with them. Uh, the Wraith Blades have restored the lost model and pushed through in this direction. Multiple charges available from them, either against the Necron Warriors uh, or the Scorpac Destroyers, or indeed both. Bikers have shifted right across it, 14 inch move. They're going to lay off a volley into the Tomb Blades. And the sniper bike's going aggressive as well to snatch that objective uh, from the enemy. And there's actually a rule, which I don't think I've ever, ever used, which I could use now. Target acquisition. At the start of your shooting phase, select one enemy unit within 12 inches of visible to this unit, you see. So if you get close enough to end of, that range, end of the phase, ranged weapons equipped by friendly Eldarian models uh, get lethal hits. So it will grant them lethal hits going through, which is tasty enough. Uh, the Falcons jumped up and over to stay in range of the objective and to lay down some vital firepower support, and the wounded Wraith Lords pushing through to take on the Scorpec Destroyers. We're going to shooting phase next for the Elder, hoping for some high impact shooting. So there's a couple of Patreons left. We'll go for Chris Heim with this firepower. We're going for uh, the bikers across here, going to offload their volley. Uh, we'll do target acquisition with them. So. Start your shooting phase, you select some unit of 12, yep, so we're going to select them, and we'll get lethal hits. Fours for hits though, because Mike has stealth. And there's only a couple of sixes coming through. And we'll re-roll the circle. Doesn't help. It's not that amazing. A lot of mist. So just got two lethals, we'll add two in for sustained. Strength six, toughness five, yep. threes to wound. Uh, re roll this one. All right, so we have a grand total of seven. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot better. Right, so this one's open the old one. Yeah, there's a model in the open, Michael, roll up for him. It's open minus one, so looking up a five, five plus to block that one. Nope. No, it's two damage, so it's going to kill our models. That's one gone. Mike can then allocate to models catching cover, which would be the ones closest towards me. So, three. Right, so yeah, they're all going to get covered then, so it's uh... Three, four ups in? Uh, yeah. So two one more dead. get through, this this does help, there's no doubt about it, yeah, okay. And then, four up, yeah. Block that one. Four up. Cock dice by the looks of it, Mike's happy enough. Blocked, well yeah. done. And then the last one. Last one. Yep. Blocked again, well done. Okay, we've standing the damage well enough. But the bikers helping out, chipping away some of the models. Row the Wraith Lord next, stacker into the bikes. Two Bright Lances, point blank range into the Scorpex Destroyers. So we'll go Scorpex first, then fours. Reroll, single hit roll, failed. Wound comes through. It's AP minus four. Minus three. Scorpex, yeah. Yeah. So six up saves. Six up. Yeah. Technically, you could get cover, I think, because you've got the guy by the ladder. So you just got partly obscure. Five up now. Five ups to block. Uh, it's a six now. anyway. Well done. Well done. Okay. And then a bit of Daka now into the bikers. Nice one. Nice one. One hit. Try and wound them. And on a five, we do. Uh, eight minus one, bit of cover. So four ups. No. One wound taken. We'll go the bikers next, they'll offload everything they have into that target. So we'll start with the scatter lasers. That's these. Uh, threes becomes fours. It's good shooting, and uh, we'll reroll hit roll now. Yep. Strength five. Top is five. Fours to wound. We'll reroll one of these. Doesn't help. Terrible wound roll. Just four saves. Four saves all in the open. No minus though. So four saves are three plus. Yeah, four plus. Four plus. Yeah, yeah I don't have the shield bands, sorry. 
and it's helping two wounds come through. I'm just going to knock a bike down. Mm. And a wound on another one left to go. See if the snipers can do it. Sniper shots. Two hits. Trying to wound. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you're too tough. Yep, failed. We'll go Falcon. Next, we've got to try and kill that Tomb Blade. So I'm going to go the Pulse Laser, that's three shots, and the Shuriken Cannon, and a Bright Lance into one of the Scorpac Destroyers. So do Scorpac Destroy first. Hits him. Wounds him. Minus three, bit of cover, five up. You know. Yeah. So it's D6 plus two, so it's going to kill a Scorpac Destroyer. So one of those things can go. I'd rather just blow them away before they have a chance. It's one of the Ultarks. Removed. Ben Harris. Ben Harris, okay. Uh, we'll then go for uh, Pulse Laser. One hit. We'll reroll a hit roll now. Failed. Three to wind. Comes through. It's minus two, not minus three. Is there a chance on a six to stop it? No. no. Bike gone. Falcon doing its job. Okay, that's cleared that flank. And the aggressive play from the Shroud Runner bikers means they've now captured that flank objective. For now, at least. Add one pistol shot into the Scorpac Destroyers. Failed. Reroll. Hits. Doesn't wound. Uh, Reroll. Doesn't wound. Okay, that's them done. Him done. These are all done. Everything's done across there. We'll, we'll head over to here now. Jane's eyes caused some wounds. Shooting through. There's three of them in five ups. Not three more. Three Necromor is brought down. And she catches the Trisco as it goes back to her hand. We'll then go for uh, regular Banshee shots with their pistols. Twos. Fours. I've already used my wound roll on, on Jane's R, so one more save, minus one, plus one on the save of four plus. No. Nope. Yeah, Warrior slain. Okay, just thinning their ranks here before the charge. Uh, the bikers next, everything they have into the warriors. So we've got a star lance, hits, wounds, and that's a kill. Uh, no, terrain. So Mike can try and roll a six. Nope. Okay, uh, a laser lance, misses. Uh, we'll do the reroll now. Hits, does wound. Five up, I think, for cover. Oh, blocks that one. Well done. Just checking laser lance is minus two. Yeah. And then twin shuriken catapults. Raise. Uh, a wound. Uh, twin links. Another wound. Two wounds minus one plus one. Two four ups. No, no, two more Necrom Warriors. Slain. Mike's now going to create a gap. Yeah, okay. Uh, one shot from here. Going to try and take out a Scorpac Destroyer, leading the four. Pre-roll for Eldar. We do get a hit. We'll try and wound, which we do. Uh, it comes through. It's nasty enough. It's AP minus four, so a six up for cover. No, and the damage is D6. It's a six. Okay, so pulverize one of those. In there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Ray Floor, two shots with the Bright Lance all the way across here, and then the Twin Shroom Catapults into the Warriors. So I go Bright Lances. Two hits, interesting. We'll try and wound. We'll reroll this one. No, I don't think it's, we're not strong enough to do it. One comes through, might take an inbound save. Four plus. Oh, four plus. And blocked completely, so no damage coming through at all. Uh, we'll then try and hit the Necron Warriors. Two hits. We'll re-roll, hit roll. And two wounds come free. Minus one, plus one, four ups. Plus one one more comes through, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> right, Avatar of Kane's going to do a trick. He's going to fire into here. We'll strand it now. Save that six for ages. That's going to give us sustained hits of D3. So it's going to be one auto hit and then D3 on top. I'm just going to play a cheeky shot across here. Yeah, just the one extra hit. So two hits come through. We'll try and wound. These two wounds do come through. 
add from him, they're going to be AP minus four. Mm -hmm. Just check it, it's going to go straight through the armor. D6 plus two each time, so I think that's two kills. Four wounds each. So four wounds each. Okay. Just checking if we're melter. We're not. <laughs> damage five. Damage two plus two is four. Just enough. All right. Just, so, about, yeah. just about got it. Two two here. I wanted to get a white pattern and try and roll around, but it's not quite worked out. All right. And with that, firepower is complete. Mike's taken the front two and kept the one at the back. Uh, alive, but damage has been heavy enough. Elder, I've done okay. We're going to charges next. There's actually lots of charges uh, required here from the Elder. Uh, chance them to make a big impact here on turn three. We're going to charges next. Yeah. All right, charges. Yeah, we're saying the game could be pretty much over here if this goes well for the Elder. It looks like it could. They've got their units in. We did use, didn't want to take a risk with the Banshees, or I did a Strands charge with them. We used the five. Uh, which had been saving and then charged and we needed it as well because we then rolled a two and it was a seven required so uh, the charge did go ahead in the end just about other units have gone in no problem across there you can see the shining spears have gone in as well and the avatar he rolled a 10 but he was blocked he couldn't push push any further because of this remaining model across here the idea was to destroy these and just roll right, right the way around uh, but we've been blocked partially uh, by the lone locust heavy destroyer the elder i have a habit if, Mike's for sure noticed this in games where they can just assemble their units quickly where it yeah. needs to be on the battlefield. It's, it's, a, it's a marked trait of the Eldar where they're able to, to get units where they need to be on the board quick enough. And that is vital in games where you need to be able to react quickly to what's going on uh, on the board. So lots of charges taking place. Eldar do have two CP. Mike's on none. So we're free to fight with all of these charging units. If it goes well, uh, this will kill the game. We'll start with the Avatar of Cain. Uh, we're going to use the Carl Roden dice and we're going to allocate our attacks here. So I think a two followed by a two followed by a two uh, would kill him. So I'm just going to put one attack in there. I'm going to put five attacks into the destroyer here, the um, Canoptic Doomstalker. So we'll go with this one because I'll need the rerolls for it. So a single hit, we're using our strike profile. Uh, Carl Roden, looking for a two. Okay, looking for a two to wound. Yep, it's a straight AP minus four. And it's D6 plus two, so another two. Oh, chopper. So that's him gone. And then five attacks here. Twos. We'll reroll this one. Once he goes in, he goes in. And then twos to, oh, or threes to wound, but they've all wounded. That's sad. Full house here. So we're looking at five wounds, making it through. Each of these is D6 plus two damage. Mike does get the four plus invulnerable save on the Canoptic Doomstalker. To be safe, I think you need to get three of these four ups, which Mike does. Yep. Nice, I've burnt out all my decent strands, so we're gonna go for straight to D6 rolls here. So it's 2D6 plus four, Avatar of Kane says. 11 wounds. Oh, there's one left. Uh, come on, reroll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Done it, five. Uh, 11, 15 wounds caused. Uh, Deadly Demise. Yeah. It's good chopping on that flank. Yeah. It doesn't explode. Oof. One fell swoop here, and we've cleared a flank with the Avatar of Cain. Usually likes to be in the heart of the battle. We saw a prize in this corner. Avatar's taken it by force. All right, we'll go to this combat across here. We'll go with the Banshees first. And I think the regular Howling Banshees with their blades. With three attacks each. It's a full squad. So we get four of them. They're on twos to hit. We'll not do any rerolls yet. Uh, fours to... Forced to kill, and we're not doing any rerolls again. So, because I think they're AP minus three, if I'm correct, the Banshee Blade's pretty potent. Yeah, so it's going to kill the remaining warriors with those mm -hmm. three. And then now you're on Invon saves for Ramses himself. We've got through to him. <clears throat> Explain to everyone why it's still the full squad. Why your two fives are sitting there. Oh yeah, I forgot, sorry. Um, yeah, Mike Overwatch, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Overwatch from here in the shooting phase, it went okay. Two wounds came through. That was just, that was just plain rolling, wasn't it? Straight up roll, two fives. Didn't strand it, did I? No, no, no that was two fives. That was two invon saves, keeping the benches alive. 
Uh, and they've screamed their way into close combat here and potentially putting some wounds on Ramses. Yeah, they've winged him. Okay, a wound coming through. Next up, the Exarch steps. There's a bit of narrative here. The Exarch steps up with the Executioner Blade and does four attacks needing twos on Ramses himself. They've all hit. Oh, spin that blade, come on. Right into the heart of this mechanical monster. Triple. <laughs> Triple six. It's not it's not devastating wounds. That was a four. Mm. I'll re-roll the wound now. Well, hold on a second. What toughness are you? Five. Strength five, executioner. She's done it. Quad wound. AP minus two, two damage. Well, you're minus one from the damage. Is it? Oh man. Oh, are you joking? There's four of them have come through. He's five wounds left. Five wounds left. She won't kill him then. Is a six way model? Yeah. He's tough enough. All right, everyone saves kicking in. None, two ones, two twos. Um, might as well do it now. A CP reroll because it's a battle tactic. Uh, yeah, go ahead. No, <laughs> another one rolled. <laughs> All right, he drops to his knees with one wound left. Oh man, this is the narratives building here. Jane Zar now steps up. Six attacks with her. To bring the Overlord down. Twos. Uh, now a reroll, hit roll. Five threes. Now she's coming in at strength. Six. Toughness. Five to three. Threes to wound. Three come through. I've used the reroll wound. Three come through from Jane Zar. That is the Blade of Destruction here. Narrative oh, voice going for Dave Humphreys here. Who's a Necrons player, but no, no, no. Ramsey's brought down by Jane Zar, would you believe it? God, good fight, Mike. Good one. <laughs> not really fair, but I think the Eldar are just off the back of the grand final, so they're not in any mood for negotiation or yeah. friendly games. <laughs> Eldar. I still stand by I get over it. Yeah. Lovely yeah. models are just models are great. There's just something about them. There it is. Well, the I the I hate the Eldar Club is uh, continuing to grow in size. <laughs> yeah. All right, done. Target destroyed. This pushes the Eldar towards victory. If they do well against the Scorpion Destroyers, it's all over. So we'll go with, I guess, the Wraith Blades first of all. So we'll do their attacks, and they they restore the models to back up to full strength. 15 attacks. We'll go to the last Patreon. Big thanks to everyone for their support. It's Val and Field Marshal Robert. Imperial Fist's player, but he helps the Eldar today. And we're looking for... Oh, boy. Only four hits. for we'll reroll a single hit roll. We're looking for threes. Look at the difference it makes. That's insane. The spirits here giving plus one to the hit rolls. Extra six hits coming through because of that. Uh, so those are lead four. We're going to try and wound now on... Freeze, I think. Strength seven. Toughness six. Freeze to wound. It's good enough here, and that helps as well. The single reroll. Eleven saves. Minus two. Ooh. Eleven saves. Minus two is five ups. Five ups yeah. Just check your Scorpec Lord if he's boasting a four plus invulnerable save, because that might affect you. He is, yeah. Yeah, so we we'll need to work this one out as we go along. It's going to take. Uh, you can do. There's two damage a time, so you've got three models left. So you could roll six of these dice now to try and block. Yeah, do six, and then we'll see what remains after that. Looking for fives. It's got one. So that's those gone. You can run tracking them here for you. You can roll another one. Dice. Not blocked. All right, so you now have, you've got a wipe out on the Scorpec Destroyers and then four invulnerable saves on the Scorpec Lord. Got through to him now. Necrons have been ambushed here. Fail two. Fail two, four damage. Yep, down to three. Three wins left, seven win model. Okay, uh, technically, spirits here. Twos. Are you infantry? We've yeah. wounded you anyway, so you can infantry, go. Yeah. Uh, minus one, so save of. Uh, just the one, yeah. Just the one, yeah. 
goes through. Moment of pride here. I think this is D3 damage with the witch stuff. D3. No minus, by the way. If I said minus one, you order one for a save. I only rolled one for a save, yeah. Got it. Six. Witch staff brings him down, and Wraith <laughs> Lord drops to the ground, and Necrons have been wiped out in the center of the board, and that's killed. That's the killing blow, and has wiped them out here in this go. Wiped them out in the center of the board, and our resistance now crumbles. There is there is nothing left. There's, there's the Canoptic Doomstalker. One hex mark destroyer across here, but Eldar can celebrate and pick themselves up a notable victory against the Necrons. Well, well, well. Turn one was a rocky start. Necrons uh, backed off of a combat that we'd set ourselves up for, uh, but Eldar kept themselves alive during the game. Were able to launch multiple attacks across the ball, but it really came to a climax there on turn three. Were able to launch uh, multiple charges across the board and get in against those Necron units and wipe them out before they had a chance to strike back. So efficiency with their killing uh, with the Eldar here on turn three. There's nothing left for this Necron force. Methodical. Uh, yeah, Ruthless and Methodical, Mike's saying from the Eldar. I guess they're just, they're just off the journey from the final, so they, they've had to fight their way through that. The, the games are, are still in their memory, and the result there in the grand final as well. Uh, so Eldar were keen for a, another fight here. So it just seems to work all right. There's, there is a wide variety of this Eldar force, but there's units that are there when you need them, units that can move in quickly, both for shooting and close combat. For example, like the bikers here, they're able to shift across the ball, a quick bit of firepower across, switching flanks. The bikers jumping around. Eldar stratagems are very, very useful. You know, fullback shoot and charge. Multiple times that came in useful uh, for them. So variety uh, for the Eldar has proved useful for them. And the ability to coordinate both shooting, and especially as we've seen here, close combat with multiple units. A single unit going in wouldn't stand a chance, but working together, uh, the Eldar have managed to achieve a good victory. We'll talk about units of the game next for both sides. Big thank you to all the Altucks, well, Silver Level Patreon supporting us. That's Jason Martinez, Marcus Olsen, Miniature Matt, and Ross Caldwell. Big thanks to them uh, for their support at Silver Level over on Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, this channel exists because of the fans. Uh, and a massive thank you to everyone that supports us then do support us on youtube channel membership there's different tiers different rewards and perks available or over on patreon again uh, perks and rewards available at whichever level you choose uh, but whatever you decide to do it really helps us and is much appreciated so units of the game for both sides there's a number of contenders for the eldar for sure Okay, interesting choices uh, here for the necrons quite obvious the wraith units they were tough enough, for sure, there's no doubt about that. It took a lot of effort for the Eldar to remove them, so they, they proved uh, tough customers for the Eldar, for sure. A few honourable mentions for the Eldar, the Avatar of Cain, good work here out on this flank, really dealing with the flank in the end across here and surviving, making it free. Uh, useful unit across there with those bikers. Uh, the Shining Spears, useful, the hop, skipping, jumping, shooting and charging. And the Banshees almost became unit of the game. They were excellent in this game. But I'm going to give it to the Wraith Blades across here. They survived, regenerated, and then went in uh, for the fight. So they were notable in their destruction of the Wraith unit across here, survived, regained models, and then went back in, uh, taking down uh, the Scorpec Destroyers. So I'm going to give it to the Wraith Blades in this game. Nice backbone unit uh, for this Eldar force. So that's the game. Keep a lookout for more battle reports uh, here on YouTube and over on YouTube channel membership. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. Ooh.